Hello. In the first part of amplitude modulation, we will learn what is modulation, what is amplitude modulation, how to represent AM signal mathematically, how to generate AM signal and its applications. Let us start with what is modulation. If I read it, modulation is a process of modifying the parameter of a carrier signal according to instantaneous value of the information signal. So if we concentrate that modulation is nothing but the modification of a parameter of a carrier signal. So here carrier signal is generally a high frequency sinusoidal signal as shown here. Now we know that sinusoidal signal can be represented mathematically by equation a sin 2 pi f t plus phi where a f and phi are nothing but the amplitude frequency and phase and this amplitude frequency and phase are called parameters of a sinusoidal signal so in the modulation at a time any one of the parameter is made vary and other parameters are kept constant now these parameters of a carrier signal vary or modified according to instantaneous value of the information signal so generally information signal is nothing but a low frequency signal having any shape so here a low frequency signal is shown having a shape of sinusoidal wave so if we move to the amplitude modulation so in case of amplitude modulation amplitude is selected as a parameter of a carrier signal which is made vary according to instantaneous value of the information signal so since amplitude of the carrier is modified according to instantaneous value of the information signal so other parameters like frequency and phase are kept constant so here you can see that this is unmodulated carrier signal which is oscillating with some fixed amplitude here we can see that this one is a low frequency information signal you can see that in this region instantaneous value of the information signal is decreasing so as a result you can see that amplitude of the carrier is also decreasing now after this point instantaneous value of the information signal is increasing so you can see that amplitude of the carrier signal is also increasing so here you can see that how amplitude of the carrier signal is varying according to information signal and this signal is called am signal or amplitude modulated signal now if we connect the peak of carrier signal via imaginary dash line so this imaginary dash line is called envelope and here you can see that the shape of this envelope is same as shape of the information signal so now here you can see that shape of imaginary line is same as shape of information signal so as a result you can see that information is embedded in the amplitude of the carrier signal so here we can see that if my information is having sinusoidal wave so here you can see that the envelope shape is also sinusoidal now if my information is zero you can see that amplitude is constant so the thing is amplitude of the carrier is not going to vary with respect to time if 
shape of the information is a square wave so you can see that shape of the envelope is also square wave here you can see shape of the information is triangular wave so here you can see that the shape of envelope is also triangle wave or you can also say that amplitude of the carrier signal is also varying according to triangle wave shape so you can see that your information is embedded in the amplitude of the carrier signal so here we learn what is modulation what is amplitude modulation so now let us move to how to represent am signal mathematically so before representing am signal let us represent the low frequency information signal and high frequency carrier signal mathematically so first of all let us start with the low frequency information or message signal so this one is represented by let us assume that em of t equals vm sin omega m t where vm is nothing but the peak amplitude of information signal or message signal and omega m is nothing but the 2 pi fm now similarly let us represent the high frequency carrier signal by e c of t which is nothing but the vc sin omega c t where vc is nothing but the peak amplitude of the carrier signal and omega c equals 2 pi fc now in both of this case we have considered the phase shift equals 0 degree and here we have considered that fm is less than less than fc so you can say that your carrier frequency is higher compared to the message signal frequency now let us represent the amplitude modulated signal so after amplitude modulation your signal or your carrier will look like this one and this can be represented by equation e a m of t is equal to v c plus e m of t into sine omega c t where omega c is nothing but the carrier frequency now here you can see that the term inside this bracket is nothing but the peak amplitude of the am signal so here you can note down that amplitude of the am signal is no more constant so this bracket term represent the amplitude and now it is not a constant term it is a function of em of t where em of t is nothing but the message signal and now you can see that message signal is also a function of time so in sense you can see that your amplitude term of the am wave is a function of time it is varying with respect to time now here we have considered that the em of t is not a zero nor a constant value because if em of t is a zero then this term will be zero and you will have a constant amplitude so here you can see that our carrier signal which is nothing but having a constant amplitude is represented by ec of t equal to vc into sin omega ct where vc is nothing but the peak of the carrier signal now after amplitude modulation your equation of am is nothing but vc plus emt into sin omega ct now here you can see that if em of t which is nothing but the information if this information is zero then you can say that this equation becomes only vc sin omega ct which is same as the equation of the carrier signal so you can see that your information is zero your am signal is same as the carrier signal there is no difference between the carrier signal and amplitude modulated signal similarly if my information is having square wave shape so you can see that your am signal will also have a square wave shape if my information is having sine wave shape then you can see that your am wave will have a sinusoidal wave shape or your envelope will also have a sinusoidal wave shape so here we have also completed how to represent am mathematically 
now let us move to how to generate the am signal so here is the equation that e am of t is nothing but vc plus e m of t sin omega ct so if we want to generate the am signal then let us first generate this bracket term so in this bracket you can see that e m of t is nothing but the information signal and now in this particular case let us consider that our information is nothing but the sinusoidal wave so here it is shown in the figure that e m of t is nothing but the sinusoidal wave having peak value of 1 and oscillating with respect to 0 so in this message signal dc is added which is having value equal to vc where vc is nothing but the peak of the carrier so in this way vc plus em of t is generated now after generating vc plus em of t this term is multiplied with sine omega ct term so sine omega ct is nothing but the sinusoidal wave having one volt of peak and omega c frequency so this ec plus vc plus em of t and sin omega ct are getting multiplied with a device called multiplier so this is nothing but the symbol of multiplier so after multiplication the equation is vc plus emt into sin omega ct which is nothing but the equation of amplitude modulation wave so as a result you can see that by multiplying this vc plus emt and with this sinusoidal wave sin omega ct you can generate am wave whose shape will look like the shown in the figure so let us move to the applications amplitude modulation is used in broadcast transmission for example analog tv transmission and am radio it is also used in two-way radios whose best example is walkie-talkies and AM modulation is also used in VHF that is very high frequency aircraft radio which is nothing but the air traffic control so in summary in this video we have learned what is modulation what is amplitude modulation how it looks like that is its waveform then we have so its mathematical equation that is e a m of t is v c plus e m of t sin omega c t then we have learned that two signals are there information signal or message signal having frequency f m carrier signal having frequency f c and the relation between the message signal frequency and carrier frequency and we have also generated the am wave via multiplier 